All right, this is second grade module two, uh, second grade module six, lesson four. And in this lesson, we're just adding the different represent a new representation for this repeated addition. Now, in this lesson, we're going to be adding tape diagrams in addition to the previous stuff of equal groups. So we're going to be connecting equal groups to tape diagrams, and all of this, of course, is foundational for third grade when our students start learning multiplication. So let's get started on this. So we're being asked to write a repeated addition equation to find the total of each tape diagram. So now, basically, parents and teachers, what I want you to see is that we're still, like in a tape diagram, we're still saying these are groups, right? But the difference is, instead of having our bikes be, <laughs> this is supposed to be a bike, <laughs> Uh, instead of our bikes being in a, a group like a circle, that is that is about the worst bike I've ever drawn in my life. So instead of the groups being in circles like in previous lessons, we're now putting them inside a tape diagram, and that's very deliberate. That's we're one step closer towards getting a little bit abstract. So the repeated addition is going to look like this: three plus three plus three plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. And if we wanted to, we could count and figure out that it's 12. And we would see that four groups of 3 is 12. Now, parents and teachers, this is a good place to remind our students of the previous lesson where we were using doubles to get our answer. So 3 plus 3 is 6, and 3 plus 3 is 6, and then 6 plus 6 is 12. So this is our inverted pyramid or upside down triangle, whatever you want to call it, to get that. Now, uh, this tape diagram is going to lead to eventually just going straight numbers instead of these um, bicycles. And here's a perfect example of that. So you've got a tape diagram, but instead of putting in like two smiley faces or two flowers inside each unit rectangle, we're now just putting an abstract two and so the idea would be our repeated addition is going to be 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. And so how many groups of and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we have 6 groups of 2. And really, we want to remind our students, well, what's a fast way of adding all of those 2s? And 1 way, certainly not the only way, is to do our little pairs. So those two twos, whoa, whoa. <laughs> those two twos are not six. Oh my goodness. Those two twos are four. And then these two twos are four. And then these two twos are four. And then if we want, we could say these two fours are 8, so now we have 8 plus 4, and that's 12. And so, 6 groups of 2 is 12, and all these 2's being added together equals 12. Now, if you want, you can also have your students kind of, kind of like touch count or dot count. You could say, well, here's, up here is a 2, so you could think of that as 2 dots. And then you could say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, and then that's another way to get 12. But of course, we really like this using the pairing method or the doubling method uh, because it's an efficient way of adding up a bunch of uh, numbers. One last example, they're kind of taking away our scaffolds or making it increasingly abstract each, each step, very incrementally. So we're supposed to draw a tape diagram. So when we look at this, I see four fives. So I'm going to draw my tape, and I'm going to cut it up into four little groups, and each of those, equal, oops, has, gee whiz, I am telling you, I am scatterbrained, I guess. Each one of these is actually supposed to be a five, isn't it? So we're going to put in a five for each of those. And so that's a 5, and that's a 5, and that's a 5, and that's a 5. And so there's our tape diagram. And we are going to find that answer. So 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5. 
Now, parents and teachers, I try and stack them up so it's easier for the students to keep that one-to-one -one correspondence. They don't lose track of what they're doing. So 5 plus 5 is 10. 5 plus 5 is 10. And then 10 plus 10. So we're going to add those guys. And 10 plus 10, our second graders can do that one pretty quickly, is 20. So 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 is equal to 20. And that's 20. And if we wanted to, we could say four groups of 5 is 20. That's another way we could have done it. Um, by the way, this, this is also an op awesome opportunity for our second graders to count by fives. Skip count by fives. 5, 10, 15, 20. And that's fun. So that's a lot of different ways to differentiate how your students get that answer. They can either uh, count the dots. They could be thinking about dice or number cubes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Uh, they can skip count, 5, 10, 15, 20, or they can use this doubling method. Man, lots of different ways to do this. And that wraps up a fun one. That was second grade, module 6, lesson 4, where we were representing that equal groups, but now we're doing it with tape diagrams all along connecting it to repeated addition.